Hi guys, we're Tim and Sandy and normally we're in Australia traveling in our Mercedes Sprinter. But currently we are in New Zealand exploring, initially for our wedding. But this week, we get more than we bargained for. Sounds like more roaring up ahead. It's a bit windy! You can make it! We've run out of power. You are watching the Sandman. Well, we was hoping to show you a beautiful sunrise this morning, but we woke up to this absolutely terrible weather. <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing that hard out there. There's white tips on the lake. The only positive is we have this room for two hours, so I'm going to enjoy the two hours that we have in this room. <laughs> Although we are hungry, so we have breakfast. So when I go down to the restaurant, <laughs> I don't know how, we're gonna go down to the restaurant. We have to walk to it outdoors. We have to check on Wurzel because I think I left a window open. So we're gonna stop at Wurzel and then we're gonna eat. <laughs> Hopefully that window's shut. Is it, uh, it's open? All good? Yeah, just a couple of little drips. Oh. <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> All right. I look like I'm about to go to the snow. <laughs> Up to breakfast. It was crazy windy this day. We do apologize for some of this vlog's audio. It was just impossible with the wind. But it has made me more creative with music and visuals. The breakfast here at Peppers was just what we needed to start the day. Little did we know what was going to come about though. I think we're ready to go. We have to go out and brave the storm. It's not raining for now. Yeah, I think we're going to go and um, have a look at some sites and see where we can stay tonight and just have a look at There's a really, some really nice lakes around here, so we're just going to go for a drive. Lovely. Well, that was okay, and an okay on a nice day, but I don't think Wurzel's gonna get down in that soft sand. So, like for Kaki, we'll try that. As far as park cups go, that is a beauty. I know there's a camper there at the moment, but they've just left. So, thinking about this one, but we need to get some fuel. So I think it's a uh, like the weather has turned a little corner so we're gonna take a trip to Mount Cook because this one wants to see some snow yes, I do. <laughs> let's go on an expedition
because we've had this is a really good one but we'll have to go register first so we just had to um, register for the camping and uh, I think I need a little bit of warmer clothes because it's quite windy out there yes. <laughs> warmer clothes hiking boots and then we're going for a walk to Hooker Valley I think we're appropriately dressed Where are yep. you? In the green zone. In here? Yeah, we're safe. We're not going to die today. We've got it unlikely. Onward. We came across this memorial on the way out. It was built in memory of all the people who perished in this particular national park. It was very sad reading all the plaques. But after today, I can see why people can get into trouble. Well, the weather's turned a bit, hasn't it? Well, it was sunny. And now it is not. That is pure Sandman style. We brought the rain. <laughs> Again, with the wind, this was really hard to film. We will get microphones one day. Yeah. If you can hear us. Hello. Hello. We're at, uh, this is Lake Lula. And um, it's completely fed by the runoff from the glacier. And it's amazing to see and hear. <laughs> like take it all off now because you're walking it's creating a lot of heat and uh, now I'm boiling and it's like five degrees we need so, to go back on that bridge it was freezing on there it's free <laughs> it was. Oh, it's amazing the ferocity and the rawness of the power of just nature really you come around the corner and it's as quiet as anything then you just pop around another corner Oh, and it's just roaring. You can see this over there. Those little, I can see those little lines there. They're all massive waterfalls. All and coming off of the glacier. You can see them raging. Oh, you probably can't see it on camera, but because they're too small. But raging waterfalls coming off the glacier. Sounds like more roaring up ahead. Just turn up to another bridge. I believe this goes over to the lake. But it's the sound of that uh, river is just roaring. So just filming here before we go on because we're not going to be able to talk on there. <laughs> Some of the walks we go on in this Australia, it says a couple of hours and you do the, do the walk and it's not really exciting. But this one, hour and a half, in the first hour we've seen more things than we see any other time really. It's, it's, it's wow, so cool. everything's wow. <laughs> like, whoa. for a water break.
I wasn't expecting that. No, how incredible is this? Just over my shoulder, and I'll show you in a second that there's a massive iceberg just sitting in the middle of the lake. And, the size of a house. And behind that, it's just a massive mountain with uh, a glacier ridge on the top, and it's just an amazing sight and so worth the that hike. That looks like glacier at the end of the lake. Oh, it is, yeah. I think that's ice right at the end of the lake as well. Wow. That's incredible. Well, we made it, babe. We have made it. And you did it with a bad knee. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my knee's playing up today. But, and there's a lot of stairs. Stairs are worse, but yeah. we got there and it's so worth it. I'm so pleased. <laughs> so, we're going to sit here and enjoy this for a little while. We'll see you back at the van. Yeah, see you there. Bye. I'm soaked. Yeah. <laughs> Time for tea. Not only do I have tea, but uh, my husband is now cooking dinner. The lovely man. <laughs> Thanks, babe, for cooking. You're welcome. It's so, I'm, I'm absolutely wrecked, so. I appreciate it. That looks amazing. We've had dinner, we've dried out we're ready for the night um, Mount Cook that we walked all the way up to and had a look at the glacier is actually the lonely mountain from the Hobbit and Lake Pukaki or if that's correctly pronounced Pukaki, yeah. Pukaki um, is Lake Town we came past so if you ever watch the Hobbit and you know this area you might recognize some of the bits in it so we're going to sit down, what better to do now is to actually sit down and watch Lord of the Rings whilst on the movie set itself. Go. Bye. Good morning guys, another day, another walk. The sand van is now climbing another mountain. So here we go. Many, many stairs. I'm using the stairs. Sandy's using the goat track because she has bad knees. I am struggling a little bit today. This one is vertical, pretty much. <laughs> it's all stairs and straight up the top. So I'm hoping for a spectacular view. It's short and distant. Yeah, it's short, but it's steep. So uh, 20 minutes is now turned into 30 because uh, we keep stopping and we taking... <laughs> yeah, it is a pretty good shot. Take a look at that. And that's the road that leads here. So it's actually a short walk because it's a long road. Yeah. So the walk I think was very worth it. Behind me you can see an array of mountains. Over here we have the famous Mount Cook is the tallest mountain in New Zealand, is it? Yes. It's the tallest mountain in New Zealand. Over here is Mount Johnson. Over here we have, I think it's called the armchair, armchair and the Nuns Vale, just to name a few. Um, and there's plenty more around as you can see. And you can just see the glacier in the background. Yeah, just along the water's edge there. That's the Tasman Glacier. Beautiful.
found the 9,000 steps. <laughs> We're just leaving the top of that uh, little lookout now. It's amazing how quickly the weather can come in. Uh, it was clear just a minute ago and uh, you can see it's a little bit sleety, I believe, was the forecast. So let's get back to words. Now we're off to Twizzle to do washing. Washing! Yay! <laughs> Yay! washing and um, we've had dinner and we're ready to go out. I told you earlier we we're going out somewhere different tonight so what we're doing is we're going out for a stargazing night. Now I'm not sure, we're going to take the cameras, I'm not sure if we're able to film anything but we're going stargazing and thermal pools. So it's at night in a thermal pool staring at the stars. Sounds good, we'll see what we can show you. The tour started with some explanations of star constellations with some virtual reality goggles, which was a cool touch. Our favorite part of the night was actually going to the thermal pools when it was snowing. Oh, well, hello. <laughs> We're in hot pools and it's snowing, but it's 38 degrees in here, so. Yeah, it's actually pretty really cool. nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't really see very well, but. Pretty hard for a gold coaster, but it's fun. Everything's red. Everything's red light, so uh, that we don't lose our night vision. Yeah. But you can just about see us. Okay. Sorry. You can just about see me. So that was very weird. We're back at Wazel now. It's eleven o'clock at night. <laughs> so they took us. They gave us some information about star constellations. We went outside to have a look at the stars through a large, large telescope, but then the cloud came over. So then we went inside and they gave us virtual reality goggles. Goggles. And they gave us a, it was almost like a little video of around the area and the stars in the area through virtual because it was cloudy. <laughs> so then they took us out to the pools, 38 degree pool, and it was snowing. <laughs> So for a good little old Gold Coast girl, it was very cold, my face was freezing, and my hair was almost like ice. But it was a very invigorating experience, recommended. Um, and Lake Tikapo is one of those areas where it's known for its um, dark skies, and there's only a few places in the world that are actually like that. So if you look around the area, there's not too much bright lights going on, um, all the lights around the area up there were covered in red you'll notice our footage is quite red um so there's not like any bright lights up there so that's very interesting but anyway we're getting ready for bed catch you in the morning good morning everyone i come from you from still in bed because we've run out of power 